I want to do something special for Pride Month, but I don't think this is what the LGBT community wants. Because today, we're not talking about trans rights, instead we're talking about trans wrongs. Hello and welcome to Curse Knowledge, and today, we're going to look at the backstory for Rose Chu, the love venture for the title character, Sana Chu. As with most comic book characters, there is often reimagining different versions to a character's past. We'll primarily be focusing on the Rose Chu story comic, made by Tumblr user Trickle as it was based on the original Issue Zero comic and the modern storyline from Christine Weston Chandler, which will get plagiarized in the retelling of Issue 15. Backstory Rose Chu was born January 8, 1992, as a simple peach Chu, to a Rice Chu and Luxray, taken in at a young age by Pokemon Professor Cole, who was given to Cal Felix, a rookie Pokemon trainer. The two would go on many adventures together, winning badges and evolving to a Pikachu and eventually Raichu. Exploring many different regions of the Pokemon world, including Johto, where she has a rivalry with Narsak. However, the Raichu did feel very awkward, as they did not get a proper nickname like many of Kale's other Pokemon, causing some friction between the Pokemon and trainer, feeling a sense of neglect. It should be noted that this Raichu was born as a male, but identifies as a female. Then, out of the blue, they were struck by a rainbow, giving an evolution from a Raichu to a Rose Chu, having a more human-like design, and being half hedgehog. The rainbow gives her tons of physical feminine features, but did not go all the way, as it still requires her to get bottom surgery. What I'm trying to say is, she has a penis. I'm sorry, but it's very important to the lore. And despite being listed as a pure electric type, they actually lost all their previous electric type moves. For some reason. Kale tries to push a relationship with her and David, her Dragonite. But Rose 2 instantly falls in love with another strange Pokemon that visits their cabin. That being the electric hedgehog Pokemon, Sonichu. Sonichu would come and visit multiple times, with the two of them forming a relationship. And this is the crossroad to Christine's and Fickle's work, as Kel would fight the gym leader and mayor of Crickville, Chris Chan. While Kel swept the floor with Chris, this was not the case when Rose Chu fought their Blaziken. This would be pretty awkward because during this period of time, Chris and Magic Chan would form their relationship with Sonichu. I guess being up their girlfriend a few weeks prior would have made the whole thing a lot more awkward. Other slight differences would be Kel's troubled relationship with her mother, that may have gone unresolved. And this is where the Rose Chu story comic ends. Eventually in Rose Chu's life, she will stray away from her longtime trainer to be with Sonichu and Chris Chan. Sometime later, Rose Chu would have a sex change operation by Dr. Sylvester Chu, having fully obtained bottom surgery, which would have happened sometime between issues 3 to 7. I guess it wouldn't make sense for it to happen earlier which would have been the best time, since this was when Christian's character started taking over the comic. So I guess that would answer the question of where Sonichu and Rochu was during all this. She will stay away from fight for the most part, the main exception being the 4 cent garbage arc, where trolls made fake images of Rochu having a penis. Rochu would proceed to post news of herself as a way to disprove these edits. Sonichu and Rochu visit the administrator Jason Kendrick Howell, where he throws a pickle at her head, allowing her to transform into her super form, the Incredible Lioness, where she rapes his face. These actions involve Rose Chu and her other female companions to strip and show their bodies for women's rights, which was probably done out of spite for the LGBT community in the first place. I say this entire thing sounds turfy in hindsight. Trans turf? Uh, I guess they exist somewhere on Twitter. It's probably best not to think about the political brain damage here. She also allowed a 14-year-old girl to help him be a part of the event due to certain laws she disagrees with for some reason. I would say this stuff would age poorly due to the toxic culture war, but this stuff was already pretty fucked in the first place. Idea Guy's Influence So I'm going to have to explain some parts of the transformation. Originally, Rose Chu, as the Raichu, was clearly meant to be female and cis. However, at the start of the Diamond and Pearl, the fourth generation of Pokemon in 2007, many of the Pokemon were given slight gender differences. For instance, female Pikachus now have a heart-shaped tail where the male counterpart has the original design. But Rose Chu's differences are a lot more subtle, with the male Raichu having a slightly different tip on their tail, something that Chris's original art matches up with, causing a very unfortunate coincidence, and the trolls ran with it since as Rose Chu became a popular target due to Chris's own insecurities of being labeled as gay. In the next up and coming years, 
Chris himself would later identify as a Tom girl and eventually as a woman. During their runs with the Idea Guys, which corrupted the Sonic Chu lore in the later issues, Christian fully accepted Rose Chu to be a trans character, being born as a male Raichu, transforming into a female Rose Chu. The person most shocked with this retcon was the creator Christian themselves, since of course, this was all strange brainwashing from the Idea Guys. However, Christine did put up a vote for their followers on what they prefer, and many people chose the trans option. With his new characterization being used in the previous mentioned Rose Shoe Story webcomic, was all this pure manipulation from the idea guys, or was it Christian's way of letting go of past bigotry? I like to think a little bit of both. Another oddity includes the age. The transition happens in 2008. But, due to the retcon age being 1992, Rochu would be 16. Even among pro-trans activists, that's very taboo to have bottom surgery at that age. But then again, we're talking about a person who cut their taint to create a vagina. So what do they know? According to the Wikia, Rochu's doctor is Dr. Silvestchu. Very little in the character is on the Quikia. There's nothing on the official card game Chris made too. And it kind of makes me question if this even exists at all. Because sometimes Chris will make stories on their Facebook, and there is nothing on this character. I really hope this isn't some sort of dog whistle or something, but even the name Sylvestru is very rare, and nothing shows up on search results. Now, it's not really said just how deep their Raichu's gender issues were, as it would seem that as a Raichu, they have socially transitioned, sticking with she-her pronouns, on what would appear to be quite some time. Real Life Inspirations Rose Chu was said to have been created by Christian in December 20th, 2000, nine months after creating the original Sonic Chu. This day was reused for the original Rose Chu's birthday, with the year being set in 1988. Hmm, very interesting choice, of course. Rose Chu's character design is based heavily on Amy Rose from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise, as she was a love interest for Sonic. However, she is a little more unusual. Both Sonic Chu and Rose Chu have different aspects of the Pikachu and Sonic design mixed together. Rose Chu is purely Amy with a different outfit and tail, opting for a different shade of pink and light blue. Or at least that's what I thought it was a different shade of pink, because side by side with Amy shows it's exactly the same marker, so never mind. Making her more unoriginal than the other recolors, because she's not technically a recolor. There's also the odd choice of having her being based on Raichu specifically, which would have given her higher stats compared to her male counterpart, and the oddity of being a third evolution not yet seen in the franchise. The earliest pictures shown of Rose Shu come in the custom Pokemon cards made in the 2000s, with one pic of her surrounded by Zap Bud flowers, and another with a simple heart background, with her design looking a lot more sloppier than usual, way before Chris's usual style. These Pokemon cards would treat her with electric typing with decent offensive stats. As said many times in these videos, Sonic Chu's and Rose Chu's relationship is based on Chris Chan's view on normal relationships, as Sonic Chu himself is also a self-insert of Chris Chan without autism. In a strange way, Rose Chu is somewhat Chris Chan's ideal woman, despite Chris Chan, both the artist and official character, not having any real sexual interest towards them, other than the time they draw porn of her. Throughout the comic, Rose Chu has no set abilities, nor are they shown to be capable of fighting back. Not once were they shown using any electric type attacks. This is pretty odd because there are plenty of other female Sonic Chu characters like Bubbles, Angelica, and Silvana that are given offensive powers. So despite being the main female character, she's actually quite weak compared to her peers. Early artwork of Sonic Chu characters shows an alternate version of Sonic Chu and Rose Chu's evolution. Rose Chu specifically has a vampire theme form called Vamp Rosa, equipped with a cape and fangs. A very random choice, but none of them were used in the main comic. She was given electric dark typing, which was a unique combination at the time. She is also given the dark type in the custom Pokemon cards. Another character, like Sonichu, shares a similar typing, but the custom cards gives them a fictional evil type instead of dark. My guess is that Vampirosa wasn't used because it would have been too similar to Blake, despite trying not to be the case. These were scrap concept very early on, but it seems that the Sonichu run has went to a different direction, being more focused on trolls. So maybe that has something to do with it. But ironically, I think the trolls would prefer this instead because it would give Rolls something better to do. Rose Chu is also a species of Pokemon within the Chris Chan world, with the pink Amy Rose version being one of the many variants. The Sonic Chu version of the story does claim she could use electric attacks. There is a picture of Sonic Chu and Rose Chu visiting a village of them, 
shown in one of Chris Chan's art from prison. It is also said that male Vamporas do indeed exist for the species. Alongside male Rose Shoes, also Sancho and Rose Shoe are totally 18 because Chris wanted to draw porn of them. Ah, oh, fuck, I'm gonna have to elaborate on this too. There's been plenty of times where Chris Chan will have their horny moments. The most notable was when it made it to the comics, this being issue 8. Which I guess you could say is a fan service episode. Fan service, quote unquote. As most of the chapters are very sexualized, which includes the nude pictures of Rose Shoe I mentioned earlier. The whole point was to show that Rose Shoe had a vagina and Chris was straight. And yes, a lot of these pictures do show Rose Shoe actually nude, and were all traced by other Rule 34 pictures. The sources, obviously, being Sonic Port, including Amy Rose, Meg, the Family Guy character, not the real one this time, and Transformers porn of all things. Many of these pictures are shown again during the trip in the elevator. So I don't think Chris was trying to hide it? I don't know. This is probably one of the most bizarre tracing controversies I've ever heard. What makes this all the more weirder is the demographic intent. Sanichi was meant to be for a general young audience. However, this comic was meant to be rated a lot older. I wonder if this was inspired by Ren and Stimpy, where it was a kid's cartoon on Nickelodeon, but had a mature spin-off on Spike TV. As if there isn't anything else more unfortunate. There is not a lot of doppelgangers for Rose Chu. However, her likeness was used for Crystal Chandler's medallion in place of Sonichu. Then there's a Rose Chu ninja from the card game, I guess, but I don't know, who cares? In issue 10, many Rose Chus were saved by the abuse of Alec Benson Leary, or something. All done to mock the After Chu comic. The more bizarre ones include a Bright Rose Chu and a paraplegic Rose Chu. All of which they were based on the Aspen Chu comic. The Rose Chu, uh, Prime character herself, doesn't have that much screen time in Asper Shoe, as most of the folk is going to other figures. There are characters from the Rose Shoe species that show up, but are usually in sexual situations, like a scene where Christian has sex with some. Why draw this? Kel's character has been used for other webcomics outside of Rose Shoe's story, that comic being Moon Pals, which utilized many of the lesser known and forgotten of Christian's characters. Chris Chan will draw many of these characters shooting the author of Moon Pals to death in one of many disturbing scenes of issue 10. Rose Shoe in the present. In the climactic issue 9, Chris Chan seemed to have listened criticism of Rose Shoe by giving her a weapon to fight with, that being a Thunderbolt-like sword, which allows her to use some offensive attacks. The sword is never used again, although that's partly due to the change of the comic's focus. It's shown again in some of the jail arts, so it's not entirely forgotten. The two get married in 2006, and later spawning three children, Sarah, Robbie, and Christine, who become the focus of the later issues. Now as for the character of Kel, she's been mostly forgotten after issue 1, although they imply they are on good terms. Kel is shown once again in issue 12, where she and Narsak form a relationship. But Narsak having a struggle due to his bisexuality, transforming into an evil Christian once again. Man, this really was like Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Sanichu and Rosu are given the ability to transform their super forms through the use of Mega Evolutions, presented in later Pokemon games. With Rosu being able to transform to the Incredible Lioness in full control of her actions this time. So I guess this is not a Force Evolution because that will be unnecessarily OP. Bonus chapters of issue 12 would have the Rosu character gain tons of weight to appeal to a Zen Troll girlfriend's fat finish. Sanchu has a bad dream over all this and confides with Rose Shu as a way to motivate her to lose weight. This is awkward for many reasons. One, this is a fetish episode. Two, Christian themselves weren't exactly the fittest person during the creation of this comic. And three, this was the last Sanchu story before things got really weirder with the idea guys. Which includes Sanchu Nazis, with Rose Shu and her daughters being raped in a Nazi camp. With more children and grandchildren which are hopefully retconned by now. And I think we'll end it there, because what else is there to say about Rose Chu? The journey for the character is a fascinating mess of unfortunate events after unfortunate events, and it's all very unfortunate. It's clear that Rose Chu was meant to be a simple love interest character, nothing more and nothing less, but due to the negative criticism and influence from the trolls, mutated the character to be far more worse than that. Now, rather not if that's better or worse, that's up for you to decide. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want, you can see some of my other content. Stay safe, and I hope to see you soon. Happy Pride Month for what is worse.